Uh, this Gretchen, German sword swallower, I wanted to follow this coal show, and I couldn't. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't do anything. And this woman, uh, she got fired in Bluefield, West Virginia, 30 miles from my home, and she heard my story. I wanted to go with the circus, and I was crippled. And she took me under her wing, and in three days, she had a stove poker down my throat. I could swallow so hard. And I started out $75 a week, three meals a day, and a stateroom on a circus train. My uncle, like a bloody stack. Oh, my God. All right. We played Norfolk, Virginia, and was in there four days. Passed this tattoo shop on uh, East Main, Cap Coleman. And I didn't know enough about tattooing. We had a drunken tattooer on her place. So I said, I want to go in there and look at his pictures. You're not going to get tattooed. I said, never in this world. No. I'm a sword swallower. Fifteen years old. Crippled. They took me in there, and I saw them putting an eagle on a sailor's back. I knew I could draw a better eagle than that. And I got an old piece of paper off of a desk over in the corner. I said, can I bar see this paper? Yeah, go right ahead. A cigarette hanging in his mouth, and there's yeah. old big black heavy tattoos all over. I drew an eagle, and he said, how did you learn to do that? And I told him, I said, I just picked it up. Do you ever think about doing this? I said, no. Next day, I went down there and stayed three hours with him. I was there four days. The fourth day, he said, when you're leaving, I told him tomorrow, he said, you come by here and see me. I got something for you. He gave me two old machines and two or three sheets of designs that Professor E.J. Miller across the street had drawn and a stencil and showed me how to cut stencil with a phonograph needle to scratch and uh, some black <coughs> and red. He says, if you get stuck, you write to me. I got out on the road, started working on them grapefruits, and I started tattooing them guys behind the elephant barn. Finally, the tattooer had decided you both got in a racket, and he run him off. And he says, hey, kid, says, I know you've been sneaking a little stuff around here. He says, you get up on that platform and says, just put on whatever you think you do, a name or heart. Don't try anything complicated because we don't want no beefs. And he says, I'll run ahead to Bilbo, and I'll have another Jagger back in here next week. Jagger seat. Right. So I got up on the platform, and he ain't run no goddamn ad. I've been there ever since. That's the way it worked. <laughs> yeah. It was by accident. Yeah, accident.